Hi, and welcome to Chef's Review. Let me show you a double deep fat fryer uh, from Royal Catering. It's a 2x16 liter model, and by the size of it, you can see it's designed for commercial use in large restaurants, uh, very busy, busy food trucks, uh, bistros, cafes, any place where you need a lot of frying. Uh, before I show you how it works and I do some actual frying, let me just go through some of the technical details. So obvious things first. Uh, it is made of stainless steel, which is great because stainless steel uh, is known for its resistance against temperatures, um, scratches, uh, also very easy to clean. Uh, so it saves time at the end. Uh, it has two barrels. Each chamber is, uh, has a 16 litre capacity with an operational capacity of uh, 10 litres. Uh, in order to show you how much oil you need, there's markings on the heating element for the lowest and the highest level. Uh, the oil level should be somewhere in between. Uh, and from my point, uh, one advice, you have to check the oil level regularly uh, in order to um, reassure uh, uniform results of from, from your frying. And of course, when the oil goes below the heating element, it may overheat, it will trip the safety, and then you have to wait for the oil to cool down to reset it when the reset button is at the back. Uh, if it's overfilled, when you drop something in, it may go over the edges and splash some hot oil all over your workplace, so that's never good. Uh, so just keep it somewhere in between. All right, as you can see, these are basically two single fryers stacked together. Uh, what's the advantage of it? Well, basically, it's tidier this way, and you can organize it a bit better, and, well, it takes less space. Each heating element is powered individually, so you just plug it in whenever you need it. Uh, it is actually a great advantage, because uh, when the business is slow, let's say, uh, you can just fire up one while the other one is resting, uh, or organize your workflow. So when you're frying uh, with the one, uh, when the oil needs changing, you just switch to the other one. Uh, just the way you need it in your place. It's up to you, you're the chef. All right, it's quite efficient because it works with uh, 3,500 uh, watts and it has really simple controls. Uh, so you have the on and off switch, you have the temperature dial, so you just set the temperature between 60 and 200 degrees, uh, but you probably end up using between 140 and 170, 180 degrees, uh, depending what you're frying. Uh, it also has two indicators. Uh, the green one indicator, uh, it lights up when the device is plugged in to show you there's electricity, and the orange one heats up, uh, well, lights up when the device is heating. Uh, so when you set up the temperature, it should light up just like so. And when it reaches the desired temperature, it will switch itself off. So the automated, uh, automated temperature control makes sure uh, the temperature stays at a constant level for as long as you need it. Um, and you don't have to worry, you know, when you're frying. You always achieve even results. All right, so uh, if it comes to cleaning, there's actually a very cool feature. Uh, this heating element well, well, is removable and you can also lift it and lock it in the upward position. Once you've set the upward position, it will trip the safety as well and it will turn itself off so the device is now cooling down. Uh, why would you need it? Well, if the, the oil doesn't need changing but you need to fish something out, that's the way to do it. All right, afterwards, when the oil is clean again, you can put it up, put it down back just like that be careful and it turns itself on again uh, while we add cleaning there's actually a couple of very cool features first of all you have this very convenient tap for both the chambers so you can drain each chamber individually and on the inside there's a little sieve that blocks the entrance to the tap so it will never clog up all right talking about the cleaning uh, quickly one advice from me when you drain the oil just into a proper vessel or container. Um, every now and then it needs a bit of a soapy water. Just rinse it down and make sure it's really dry before you refill it with oil again. Okay, moving on. Uh, in the set you get these two baskets and two covers like that. Uh, each basket has a really nice chrome grillage with a hinge there and there's these two bolts where you can hang it on, just like so. 
let me drop it in. And about the cover. Uh, some use it as a splash cover, but uh, in my opinion, it's actually quite dangerous because when you put it on hot oil, uh, water condens condensates underneath it and it drops back into the oil, creating more splashes. So I usually use it as a protection from dust or dirt or whatever may fall in over the night for the, uh, waiting for the next day service. All right, I already preheated my oil and I prepared some shoestring fries. Let's do some actual frying. Just drop it in there, and with this efficient machine, it will literally take only a moment. So that gives me enough time to emphasize all the most important bits and pieces of information. So you have stainless steel constructions, very solid. You have drain tap, heating elements, and the power cords individually for each chamber. Uh, you have very efficient machine with three and, uh, three and a half thousand watts of power. You just plug it in a normal wall socket and you're ready to fry away. Um, if you're looking for fryers, uh, just make sure you have a look at the website. There's a, a number of these machines with different parameters, different price ranges. Uh, so you definitely find the one that you need for your business. Um, this fry comes with a three year warranty. And the producer made sure it will arrive at your place undamaged. And they packed it really well in a really sturdy box with lots of packaging material in it with a really tight fit. Also inside, you will find this instruction manual. Um, I can't stress enough uh, how important that bit is. Just make sure you have a read before you stand the device the first time. There's a lot of information on how much oil you need, how to change the oil, how to operate the device, how to prepare the device for its first use, and so on. So definitely have a look and keep it somewhere in your kitchen. Okay, my chips are done, but obviously it's not only for making chips. Uh, it will literally fry anything within reason, of course. So. Just remember, I'm your hands-on expert here on site to test equipment, so if you have any questions uh, regarding deep-fed fryers or any other equipment, just leave me a comment in the comment section and I make a clip of it. I thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time.